Elizabeth Taylor jewellery collection. I love wearing precious stones, but not because they are mine. You can't have radiance. You can only admire it, Elizabeth Taylor said. The Hollywood actress was a passionate lover of jewellery and collected them throughout her life. Elizabeth's collection consisted of 269 jewels, worth $115 million. The story of Elizabeth Taylor's tiara at the 1957 Oscar ceremony is really impressive. This is a wonderful example of luxury and a symbol of love. It may not be so fashionable to wear a tiara these days, but for many people, such jewelry remains the epitome of elegance and style, reminding of splendor and history. For Elizabeth Taylor, her diamond tiara was not just an ornament, but also a symbol of love and devotion. This gesture from her husband, Mike Todd, became for her not only an expression of luxury, but also a sign of his special attention and care. For many people, tiaras and similar jewelry remain an important part of the history of fashion and culture, preserving their elegant style and recalling the splendor of the past. A diamond tiara decorated with many precious stones was not only a luxurious decoration, but also a symbol of status and brilliance. On the actress's head, she shone with her sparkling crystals, attracting all eyes. And although wearing a tiara these days may be too extravagant and unusual for a Hollywood star, whatever she was, it was a bright and unforgettable moment. It was not just an accessory, but a symbol of true love and great respect. The Pearl of La Peregrina. Before Elizabeth Taylor, the Pearl of La Peregrina was worn by Napoleon Bonaparte, the Spanish queens, Isabella and Margaret, and Henry VIII's daughter, Mary Tudor. For the actress, the jewel was purchased as a gift by her fifth and sixth husband actor Richard Burton. The weight of the gemstone was 55.95 carats. During one of the parties, Elizabeth noticed that Peregrine's pearl was missing from her neck. The actress was seriously scared and then noticed how the dog was gritting a small bone. What a surprise it was when the bone turned out to be a famous pearl. Fortunately, not a scratch stopped on the decoration. The history of the Pearl of La Peregrina is really full of amazing twists. This gemstone belonged to many famous personalities, ranging from Napoleon Bonaparte and the Spanish Queens to Elizabeth Taylor, who inherited it from Richard Burton. The story of the loss and finding of pearls at the party will sound really interesting. Well... Luck escaped the actress when her valuable jewellery turned out to be safe, thanks to the unreliable help of a dog. Elizabeth Taylor was known for her love of jewellery, especially emeralds. Her preferences in jewellery from her own collection were also shown on the screen, in the film Very Important People, where she chose emerald and diamond earrings in combination with the Bavulgari headdress decorated with precious stones. This combination added luxury and elegance to the actress, emphasizing her unique style and taste. This Bavulgari emerald set was specially created for Elizabeth Taylor and has become her favorite piece of jewelry. Magnificent emeralds combined with brilliant diamonds created a unique and elegant image that emphasized the beauty and sophistication of the actress. Elizabeth Taylor has always been distinguished by impeccable taste and the ability to select jewelry that emphasize her personality and style. Emeralds were one of her favorite stones. They gave her an image of luxury and chic. Today, this Bivulgari emerald set is a real work of art and a collectible for jewellery connoisseurs and fans of the great actress's work. Elizabeth's ruby set was given to her by her third husband, 
Michael Todd, in August 1957. The actress recalled that day with a smile. I was swimming in the pool, and I was wearing a tiara that he gave me. Yes, yes, I swam in a tiara. I came out of the water, and he was holding a red leather case in his hands. Inside was a necklace with rubies and diamonds. Mike put it on me and smiled. Then he took out the earrings. And behind them, there is also a bracelet. Since there was no mirror nearby, I had to look at myself in the reflection in the water. The story of the Cartier Ruby Half Parker, presented to Elizabeth Taylor by her third husband, Michael Todd, is really impressive for its romantic mystery. In 1957, while vacationing in France, Taylor received this incredible set of jewellery, including a necklace, ring and earrings with Burmese rubies and diamonds of the highest quality. The moment of their gift became especially memorable due to the absence of a mirror. The actress examined herself in the water and was amazed by the beauty of the jewellery. This pearly moment in Elizabeth Taylor's history has been preserved and has become part of her legendary legacy. In 2011, the necklace, bracelet and earrings were sold at Christie's auction for significant sums, emphasizing their historical and artistic value in the world of jewelry. One of the most famous diamonds in the world was stolen in 1959. Then it ended up on Elizabeth Taylor's finger. An unknown master made an Asher style cut. It was popular in the 1920s turning the cobblestone into a stepped octagon. As a result, a unique transparent diamond was born with a barely noticeable bluish sheen and weighing 33.19 carats or 6.638 grams, a jewel that few and very rich people could afford. The ring with that diamond. Photo 2011. The diamond became public in 1955. A German movie star who has been released, and recently the wife of one of the richest people in the world, Vera Krupp, came out with a luxurious platinum ring on her finger. Framed on the sides, a huge diamond was complemented by two smaller baguette-cut stones. On May 19, 1952, 45-year-old Alfred Krupp a major industrialist from West Germany, as well as a former Nazi who escaped fair punishment, married the thrice-divorced 43-year-old German actress Vera von Langen. Five years later, the couple filed for divorce and divided the property. The lady left herself a sonorous and rich surname, moved to the USA, where she bought a luxurious ranch near Las Vegas. A pear-shaped diamond weighing 69.42 carats, purchased by Richard Burton at auction for a million dollars, has indeed become one of Elizabeth Taylor's most famous jewellery. Originally intended not for a ring, but for another type of jewellery, this huge diamond was added by the actress to the Cartier necklace. Her words that it was too big even for her emphasized its uniqueness and impressive size, which added a special shine to her jewelry collection. No selection of iconic jewelry would be complete without mentioning Elizabeth Taylor's impressive jewelry collection. The pinnacle of this collection is certainly considered to be the giant Taylor Barton diamond presented to the actress by her twice husband. Richard Barton. The cost of the 68 carat stone was so great that the insurance company set a condition. Elizabeth could only wear it 30 days a year. The rest of the time, the stone was kept in a safe. One of the most famous appearances of the actress in the Transformer decoration was the 42nd Academy Awards ceremony, where Taylor announced the winner in the Best Film nomination. Elizabeth Taylor was famous for her taste in jewellery and jewellery. And this diamond became one of the most striking examples of her collection. 
A necklace with this huge diamond is often considered one of the most famous iconic celebrity jewelry. Today, the pear-shaped diamond weighing 69.42 carats is still one of the most recognizable stones in the world of jewelry. Its history associated with the legendary actress makes it not just a beautiful decoration, but also a real work of art that will forever remain a symbol of style, luxury and elegance. So toi with Sapphire, Bulgari Richard Burton once said, the only word Elizabeth knows in Italian is Bulgari. Burton supported his passion for jewellery at the jewellery house with gifts. In 1972, for example, on Elizabeth's 40th birthday, he presented a sautoir inlaid with diamonds and sapphires, as well as complemented by a pendant with a Burmese sapphire weighing 52.72 carats. Richard Burton was known for his generosity and love for Elizabeth Taylor, especially regarding Bavulgari jewellery. A pendant with a Burmese sapphire weighing 52.72 carats attracted special attention, which made this gift not only a symbol of love and attention, but also an expression of luxury and style peculiar to the couple. The sapphire sautoir from Bulgari has become one of the most famous and expensive gifts made by Richard Burton to his wife. There is also a passion for luxury and jewelry, and of course, boundless love for Elizabeth. The decoration is a prime example of their rich and luxurious relationship, which they have continued to maintain over the years. Elizabeth Taylor and her jewelry for good luck Liz borrowed this necklace from a fashion house to wear to the Oscars in 1993. At the ceremony, she received an award for charity. Then she decided that the necklace brings good luck. The actress bought it back. Elizabeth Taylor and her love of jewellery was really great. She was known for her beautiful jewellery, including the famous floral necklace by Van Cleef and Arpels which she rented for the Oscar ceremony in 1993. At this ceremony, she received an award for charity and convinced that the necklace brings her good luck, she decided to buy it back. This fact highlights her passion for jewelry and the power of their symbolic meaning for her. The Prince of Wales's brooch, Elizabeth Taylor on the Aspel and Somrapu show 1988. The Prince of Wales brooch is pinned to her chest. If Elizabeth Taylor had a competitor in terms of jewellery obsession, it was definitely the Duchess of Windsor Wallace, the wife of the would-be King Edward VIII. Wallace loved jewellery passionately, having a great talent for mixing her most pretentious jewellery in one image and looking elegant and appropriate at the same time. Read also Wallace Simpson style, Lessons in Elegance from the Duchess of Windsor. Like Elizabeth's husbands, the Duke of Windsor also sought to capture the most important moments of his love for Wallace with jewellery. David gave one of the most symbolic gifts to Wallace while still in the legal status of the Prince of Wales. In 1935, Mrs. Simpson received from the heir a magnificent brooch made of 18 karat gold, made in the form of three feathers completely encrusted with diamonds. It was a heraldic symbol which has been used by the Princess of Wales for centuries. This is how the heir to the throne wanted to show his beloved that despite the protests in the family and in Parliament, he would marry her, and more importantly, he would definitely make her the English Queen. Of course, these plans were not destined to come true. Edward abdicated the throne, and since then their belonging to royal life has been confirmed only by houses with the servants and stunning Wallace jewellery. The Prince of Wales brooch remained with her all her life, but it seems that her main admirer was not the Duchess, but Elizabeth Taylor. 
Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton had a close relationship with Edward and Wallace Simpson, and their interest in royal jewellery and symbolism was deep. The Prince of Wales brooch that Wallace Simpson wore had a special meaning for them as a symbol of royal history and romance. For Elizabeth, who often compared her love story to the novel by Edward and Wallace, this brooch became not only an object of aesthetic admiration, but also a symbol of their own relationships and passions. When Wallace's jewellery was auctioned by Sotheby's after her death in 1987, Elizabeth Taylor showed determination to purchase the Prince of Wales brooch. She was able to win the auction by paying a significant amount for this symbolic artifact. This acquisition became one of the most significant for her, and she promised to wear this jewel only on the most special occasions. Elizabeth Taylor left a significant legacy in the jewelry world, and her collection became an object of admiration and study after her death. Elizabeth swore that she would wear the royal brooch only on the most exceptional occasions. She got the jewel for $620,000. After her death, she will go under the hammer for twice as much. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.